Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3 of The Bartley Sims 4. I am GamerGirly79. On the last episode, um, the Bartleys, who have recently lost their father, their husband, um, have been mourning and everything has been just going not going right for them she's been they've out of they're out of money they um having a tough time like they got no money to eat her boss is giving her trouble things have just been really morbid the last episode and we're hoping that this episode things will brighten up and they will make some friends and they will get some money through work and he wasn't do dwight wasn't doing well at school so hopefully he'll be doing better at school and things will just be looking a lot brighter for them from now on, now that they've hopefully done with all the mourning. And life is going on. Hopefully, let's see, better. At the moment, they can't cook any food, and, and this is what she wants to do. We've changed her aspirations from, um, what did she want to do? Family, her aspirations changed from wanting to be a family person to now wanting to become a chef so now that her husband has died oh no oh no what was that what is going on here she needs to repair it Okay, so we just need to repair that. Um, so where was I? Yeah, we changed her aspirations from wanting to be a, a family woman to now wanting to be a chef because since her husband has died, um, obviously things have changed a lot around here. She has to now work and... You know, since her cooking is what caused all of this in the first place, I thought it was appropriate to carry on with a career of cooking so she could get better at it. Right now the stove is broken and she's going to repair it because we do not have money for a repairment, so let's hope that this actually works and she doesn't shock herself. And she is uncomfortable because she's hungry. Unfortunately, we can only eat... A few small things and we did a lot of work um, on the previous episode she did a lot of work the day before but she has not been paid for it yet so I'm not really sure um, that we're supposed to put away but that said declined for approval How long is it going to take to repair? He is feeling playful. Maybe you should go and experiment or make a health potion or something while you're feeling all playful. Shame this kid doesn't have that much to do. Okay. You're going to have to learn to repair your own things. It's around here. Times are tough. Money is tight. Have something to eat for now. You're going to need to eat something else because that's not enough. And you're going to need to go and take a shower. And then you're going to need to throw it away. Okay, let's see what that says. Rosa blitzed through the gigs tasks. Churning out some hip marketing copy at record speed. Remarkably, a bunch of irreverent, adventurous, confident, and chillsome started engaging with the brand on Simstagram, sharing their approval of the refreshed product page. Success! The client was thrilled with Rosa's work, and in addition to a monetary bonus, he promised to treat Rosa to a chili dog meal if, she, if she's ever in the area. Strange. 
That's very nice. So the client was very happy with her work. We actually finally got our money. So she actually had to do three copies. I did not know that. Maybe I did not read the... Um, prerequisites of the job but now I know for next time she's feeling inspired throw that away and let's get looking for more work because we can't waste any time can't waste any time at least she got a bit of a bonus as well for her work okay we need to make more money and quick. You can't really go out and look for a job yet. Not until Dwight is a bit bigger. I think we should actually... Dwight's not going to get bigger unless I put aging back on, which I need to do. Okay, um, let's see what's the highest magazine ad marketing copy. That sounds good, 430. Oh, wait, ghostwriting, yes. That's the highest one. Let's do that one. So start, woman. Write the book. Let's write. I like their description. Keep it short, otherwise it's a, what? a long story. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five metaphysical overtures and one ensemble. Let's see. Little Dwight made the most amazing health potion. This will certainly stave off hunger. It's now in Dwight's inventory. Okay, so Dwight, can you not use it if it's in your inventory? Um, drink. Oh. No, wait. You don't need it yet. We should save it for Just a hungry honest, day. Maybe. Oompa uh, free. Yanka, Bamu, Zampa, Grasha. Play in the bath, Dwight. Okay, so he can make health potions. Nice. He's a smart little boy. Zambas. They need to talk a bit. What? He just goes and puts the bowl on his mom's desk. That's not the Dwight I know. I said take a bath. He's just gone and done his own thing. Okay, so then you don't need to play in the bath anymore. You need to go and use the toilet though. And you you need some fun when you're done with this. But you are inspired right now, so you need to be doing this now. No, Summer, not now. Go away. Okay, do you know what? You can help your mom around the house and just clean up stuff. Nothing dirty here. Oh wait, we can't empty the tra We can buy a trash can now for outside. Let's just do that. Wow, outdoor trash cans are very expensive. Um, that's a mailbox. Okay, 155 bucks. Wow. Okay. It's going to have to be this one. Let's go and put that... over there. I hope that is sufficient. So you can help your mom by emptying the trash while she does some work. 
She's still feeling very inspired. She needs to actually be cooking when she's inspired. So let's serve lunch. No, let's cook. Let's cook. Since we have some money, we can actually eat something now. Chocolate chip cookies. Maybe you should stop that before you lose your inspiration. Go make the chocolate chip cookies. Oh no, it's too late. So you're not inspired anymore. Oh, wow. How did that happen? When did she drink? Okay, can you carry on with your work? What? I thought she was writing. I thought that's what we were doing. Maybe I stopped her and then she didn't get to finish it. That's a bummer. Okay. Um... This kid really doesn't have much to do. He's already done his homework. Why don't you just drink your health potion? Isn't there something you can watch that's actually going to give you... Oh no. Hi Dwight, it's me Claire. Do you want to come over to play? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are at Claire's place. Is this part of, is this a new friend? You are a goofy kid, let's tell a goofy story. Oh, he's leveling up with social. Okay. He needs to make two more friends. Don't, don't hit a girl. <laughs> Play make believe. Make silly face. Do child things, you know. Okay, how do I make him go home now? I forgot how to do that. Oh, okay. Are you going? Let's go. Follow her. Go. Um, all right. Go here. Let's go inside, right? Let's see what their house looks like. Oh, 
Oh, there's another friend. Friendly introduction. Just need to do another one after that. Um, talk about toys and make a silly face and greet the mother. You in her house? You should greet her. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Greet the people in the house. Why can't I greet him? Funny introduction. Friendly introduction. What is taking so long? Okay, achieve level 5 social skill and make a BFF. That's easy. You can be his new BFF. Let's not insult him. That's not a, let's do a heartfelt compliment. And brighten day. And all positive things. Get to know. Why does the dad... The dad looks like a girl. Is there not a way for me to see what's going on with her? Okay. Joke about weird animals. <laughs> Why has he got that on his head? What does that mean? Do an impression. Uh, it's quite late. Play date is done. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> this is a nice house. This is a nice house. I have made me some rich friends. Let's see what it looks like upstairs. Very nice. Very nice, Peter. The lounge in the bedroom. An ensuite. Nice. Who are you? You must be like their butler. So one, two, three, four bedrooms. Four bedroom house. Does it go up again? No. Okay. All right. It's time for you to go home, Dwight. How do I get him to go home? Oh. It is late, you need to go to bed. Although, what day is it today? Yeah, there's no school tomorrow, so no rush. Oh boy, Jabby. 
have you acquired a musical skill yet? Let's quickly get you a musical skill because we're not going to be able to afford a piano at home. And then we need to get you home. Your mother's waiting. Yes, you better run home. It's late. Okay. Let's hope mom has finished writing her book so we can make some money. Okay. Mom, why, if you're feeling tense, why are you feeling tense? Needs amusement. So why? Why are you not amusing yourself? Go watch some cooking for ideas. Have you finished your book? No. What do I do now? Why well, still write book? I don't understand. Oh, we're not going to make any money this way. Okay, it is very late, so... We need to fix this in the morning. Dwight's already in bed. Rose's cooking's improved just by watching some TV. Let's get her fun up and then she needs to go and sleep. At this point, she has no goals. Um, she just wants to try and make it as a single mother. At this point, her only goal is to make money, which we seem to be struggling to do. At least they're not hungry. Oh, he's hungry. And you're going to need to go to the toilet and then back to sleep. I don't suppose you can repair. No. Okay, she needs to repair... After you guys wake up in the morning. New day. I'm not really too worried about upgrading this house right now. I don't need to, I don't feel the need to keep up with the Joneses. So we'll just, for now, what's wrong with Dwight? Uncomfortable? He's hungry, shame. Okay, well you can go and have a quick meal. Have some cereal. You need to also clean up here. Okay, mom is awake. She's feeling happy. Time to go have a shower. After you've repaired that. And then you need to clean that up. And then you need to jump right back into your work, please. I'm wondering if she's writing... Oh, you need to use the toilet. Maybe before you write. I just don't understand. Like, this is the job. Chat with the client. And then write. I can't remember if we must write something out. Oh, write something specific. Let's do a non-fiction. Okay, Dwight, what are you up to? Tomorrow's school. Is your homework done? Yes. Okay, so you don't have to do anything right now. You just need to get some more social going. Maybe you can chat with... Is that not improving your social? Why not? Okay, so... She's doing just fine. That's better than... Uh, oh, good. She's feeling inspired. 
When is she going to get paid? These books are not in her inventory. Go away, Summer. I'm not in the mood. Chat with client. Oh, there we go. Write motivational book while confident. How do I get confident? Use a computer to write a motivational book for submission to the client located under the freelancer category. Rosa must be feeling confident to write a motivational book. Oh, I didn't even know that, that there was tasks. Okay, so I've chatted with clients. How do I get confident? I think I think I need to buy me a mirror. From what I remember, you boost your confidence with the mirror. Let's get a just a cheap mirror, actually. Oh, nice little red cab bathroom cabinet. There we go. So go and confidence. Yes, there we go. Okay, stop writing that book. It's the wrong book. Write a motivational book while confident. So it can be any book, not inspired, you need to be confident. We are losing money, guys. We are going to run out of food. No, get confident. Practice speech. Psych self up. Brockna, Quarb. Tabna, Ina. There we go. Now you can go and write a book. Let's just do a quick short story. Libsborb. Okay, why? Okay, he's not allowed to cook. Flibsborb. If I don't stop her, she's just going to stay in the mirror all day long. Okay, now you can write the book. Nice. And then you can continue with that. But let's first get this book approved. Please, we need to make money, Rosa. You've been very slack. Okay, Dwight, I don't know what to do with you. You must just do your own thing. Surely you know, like, you need to eat. You need to eat. Hurry up with this book, Rosa, then you can go make food. No, don't be uncomfortable. You need to be... Oh. Okay, not pause, play. Um... Let's take that away and go and resume that cooking first. Then we need to probably... What? Where did it go? She probably needs to eat. Okay, psych self up. And then we are going to carry on with the book. Now I'm worried the book is not... How do we continue with the book? This is annoying. Do I seriously have to start again? Keep it short, otherwise it's a long story. Can you stop chatting with Kenny, please? Who said you can go chat with people? Where are you? Where did she go? Okay. Just get confident again, please. We need money, woman. Okay, go and write. Whatever. I need her to finish this book. She needs to stay confident. She's going to be confident for three hours. Let's hope she's done with this book in three hours.
before we can do anything, make friends or really move on properly with our lives, we have to first, you know, get control of the current situation. She has to first make some money and we can't really do anything else until she gets that done. So I think now that we've figured it out, I know now I have to look at my tasks um, and check my inventory and that kind of thing. I think it will go a bit faster now because we are running out of money again and we've really been struggling since Steve left us. So we just need to try and get back on our feet and then we can start looking at socializing and you know, maybe meeting someone else. Oh no, I didn't get to finish the book. Come on. Finish the book, woman. You've got to finish the book. Thank you, you finished the work. Okay, now you can go and use the toilet and then go and sleep. Wow. What? How do I hand it in? Oh no, it didn't work. What didn't work? This is impossible. How am I going to stay motivated? Okay, let's just get it to do this in a fresh new day. You're going to wake up, well, you're going to go to bed, you're going to wake up in the morning, fresh new day. Dwight, you need to get to bed. You have school in the morning, so make sure you get enough sleep now. Okay, so when you wake up, you are going to serve breakfast, scrambled eggs. Then you are going to watch TV. And then you're going to psych yourself up and write a book. Let's do a children's story so it can maybe be quick. Oh, there's more repairs. Dwight, you're going to school hungry, looks like it. His mom took too long to wake up this morning. Okay, at least you've got some cereal. This you should put away. Bye Dwight, have a nice day at school. Okay. Being happy will make any positive emotion even stronger. Good. Okay, woman, didn't I give you some tasks to do? Can you get them done, please? Oh, you're watching while standing. That seems uncomfortable. Now she's inspired. I should not have done that. Can she be confident and inspired at the same time? Okay. Oh no. <laughs> this is not going to work. Okay. Scratch that. You need to cook while you are inspired. Let's make mac and cheese. Just a single serving. Oh. 
She's probably not going to be inspired by the time I... Uh, three hours, that should be. Should be good. Bills have been delivered. 433 simoleons. I don't have enough money for that. What am I going to do? Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 433 simoleons and have 48 hours to pay before we shut your utilities off one by one. Oh, no. You can pay using your phone, computer, or the mailbox. This is not good news for us at all. Right. Did she cook while she was inspired? You're still inspired. Let's cook again. Let's cook some garden salad. Single serving. Go. What is going on? Did not tell you to cook the garden salad. Resume. You're still inspired. I need you to do that now. And then you need to put that away. Okay. Put away. How are we going to pay our bills? I need to get her psyched up. 16 minutes. We should that should do it. Okay. Why are you uncomfortable? No, we're cleaning up. Just relax, woman, relax. Okay, now go. Psych yourself up. And then we need to write a children's book. Can we just please get this book done? Pat the badger. Please just finish this book before you get uncomfortable. Otherwise, we are not going to make money. I, I, I don't know what else to do other than leave Dwight alone at home and go out and find a normal job. Stop talking. Just get your work done. Just get your work done. Woman, we need money. We've got to pay our bills. Oh, seriously? Why can't I turn this book in? Freelancer, write a book. There's a motivational book. Was that all there? Was that there all along? Oh my goodness, I think it was there all along, wasn't it? Because there's a whole bunch of new ones now, but... Okay, okay, just stop, stop. Write book, please. Puzzle pleases, yes, let's do this. Please, we need the money, we've got to pay our bills or our utilities are going to be cut. Today doesn't seem to be going much better than yesterday. Now she's feeling inspired. She's supposed to feel confident. It's just not going my way. Okay, woman, you need to stop talking. You need to get your work done. We need money. Summer, go away. I don't have time for you now. How long has that motivational book been there? 
<laughs> Just get this book done, please. Please, you only have 112 simoleons left. Okay, she's finished writing an entire book. Please tell me I can turn it in. Send to client for approval. Yes! What an achievement, Rosa finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Rosa can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Rosa got a review on the motivational book. The client's calling it more than adequate as she helped push it over the finish line. Thank you. Finally, we've got some money. Now we can pay our bills. Let's do that. Um... Where did they say they pay bills? Whew. And then, woman, unfortunately, you need to go and work again. Oh, no, your energy's down. Okay, so you need some fun. Watch channel, I mean. Back to square one. We've only got 244 simoleons. We need to do this a few more times. I'll do it on fast forward so it can go quick. And then hopefully we can, you know what, you can shower in the morning, just go and sleep. Let's do this on fast forward. We just need to get us some money so that life can just begin again. What are you complaining about? What? Did you just wake your mother up? For what? What is this? What on earth? What? Monster under his bed. What's that scary noise? Is there something under the bed? Monsters are not real, dude. What is this thing doing here? How did it get here? Like, what? Okay, let's see. Go here. What? What? Who are you talking to? That looks like Adolf Hitler. Oh, that's your dad. Uh, what is going on? Okay, he's just jumped into his uh, potion table. Really? No, 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 no. Just tell this kid that monsters are not real. Um, give him a hug for starters. What? Dad's back. He just came out of the machine. Alrighty then. Okay, so. Now that Dad's wandering around our house... We will have to just uh, try and ignore that. He's doing push-ups. We have a dead man, dead ghost, doing push-ups in our house. Okay, Dad. You seriously, you need to go. We love you, we miss you, but you cannot be here in your, in spirit. Okay, so, is this monster thing dealt with? Can you, like, you can talk to the dead people. Right. Dad, can you go? What? What? Okay.
This woman needs to make money, and now you're coming to, like, interrupt us here. Just go to the toilet. Your son's woken you up. Now we're going to go another whole day without money. Go to the toilet. Can you just uh, put this away? Put that away for your mom. You need to help around the house. Um, oh, that needs a clean... Mom's got so much to do. She's a single mother all by herself and she's just got so much to do. This is not right. Okay. Why is the sink so dirty? And I can't clean it. Oh, it's because I'm Dwight. You can clean it. Fine, go have a bath. When you're done bathing... No, look. Can't you finish bathing first, woman? Okay, you can go take a shower afterwards and then just go sleep, please. Dwight, you at least, you fine. Dwight's fine. Okay, you feeling inspired? Dad's in the shower. All right, this is very weird. He needed to take a shower, obviously. Okay. I am not going to acknowledge him and talk with him. Because we cannot speak with the dead. So he needs to just leave. Maybe I can ask him to leave. Um, ask about being dead. <laughs> okay, I want to do that. I want to ask about being dead. What is it like being dead? It, what are you doing on my computer? You're dead. Is there a way to ask him to leave? I would like him to leave. Go away. That's a bit rude. Is there just like no way to like friendly ask to leave? Ask to be friends. I don't. My hey guys, my best friend is dead. That makes a lot of sense. Who's your best friend? Oh, my husband. But he's dead. No, he's not. He walks around my house and plays on my computer and does push-ups in the, in the office. What are you doing? Woman, I didn't tell you to kiss the dead. I said ask. Ask. Ask what it's like being dead. More choices. Friendly. What's it like being dead? I want to know. Tell me. I see your voice echoes now. Mackinerve. Mackinerve. Is that what it is? Okay. All right. We need to ask him to leave. And unfortunately, we're going to have to be rude. Because I don't know how to do it otherwise. Let's just go and sleep. Maybe he disappears. No, he's going into the computer. He's in the computer. He's making the computer go up and down. What is he doing in there? I wonder if we can't call someone to, like, get rid of him. Hire a service. What would we get, like uh, an exorcist or something? This is not real at all, guys. This is not true at all. You cannot speak with the dead. So we're just going with the with the flow of the game. The game has decided to incorporate this in here. It's a big surprise to me. But there must be a way to get rid of him. I would like to try and get rid of him so that he doesn't bother us anymore. Although it doesn't look bothersome to them. I don't know about you, but I'd be a little freaked out if my dead dad just arrived here in my room and did push-ups. Push okay. So can you go... You see now, because dad's here, they're both sleeping, but the time hasn't sped up. All right. 
Let's speed up this time. Let's get the next day going. He's now in the toilet. He is literally in the toilet. Okay. Is he gone? I think he's gone. Maybe they're just seeing things. Maybe they're just seeing things. Okay. Serve. Can we serve? No, get leftovers. Okay, she's going to sleep late, thanks to um, monsters under the bed and dead fathers walking around our house. Oh, the computer's broken. How is she going to make money? There's just one problem after the next. Oh, okay, go eat, woman. Go eat. And then, unfortunately, you need to come and repair. Come, 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 come. Who are we going to call? Ghostbusters. They're not on you. Okay, so we're not doing that. She's going to eat, repair, and then get inspired. And then hopefully work. We need to make money. You know, it is realistic in the sense that um, a death in the family can can cause a lot of money loss because I mean we've lost someone who's actually bringing in money oh now I can do much with things with much more help a renowned scientist due by Friday oh they got due dates oh, I could have totally like done this all for nothing Okay, well, that's worth the most, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to help a renowned scientist. Let's see what I have to actually do. Chat with the client. Um, chat with the client. Write non-fiction book. Get book to prove. Get book approved. Write non-fiction book. Go. At least I don't have to be inspired. Then at least we'll have some money, guys. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Things are looking up. No more dead dads wandering around our house. No more monsters under the bed. Our bank account should look a lot better. Why are you tired, Dwight? What are you tired about? Why don't you like sleep and not nap? Actually sleep. There we go. Get your tired. And then you can have a quick meal. Ham is bad for you, but you can have a ham and cheese sandwich because they don't give me anything else to do. Get this book done, woman. Get this book done. We need the money. Due by 9 a.m. Friday. I can get it done today. What an achievement. You did it. Yes. When do we get our money? Oh, I need to hand it in. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Slow down, woman. Slow down. Slow down. Let's hand this book in. Send to client for approval. And you need to throw that away. Oh, Summer, you are so bothersome. Go away. Oh no, this work doesn't meet our quality standards. It needs to be edited before you attempt to submit it again. Paintings can be edited on the digitalistic sketch pad. Books can be edited on a computer. I didn't know I had to edit it. Edit rejected content. Wow, now they're making us work for our money. All right, let's hurry this up, woman. We need to get our money. Bad things need to stop happening to us now, and things need to start looking up. Oh, no. I saw the edits you were working on. Look, don't even bother. There's no saving that thing. Just start over and create something good from the beginning this time, okay? Uh -huh. Wow. 
Wow. Gee. This is terrible. Okay. Tomorrow's another day. We're going through another day with no money. Just get leftovers, have something to eat, and then go and sleep. This is ridiculous. You stink. You stink, Dwight. Dwight, why are you stinky? Okay, Dwight, you need to go and play in the bath and get leftovers. Mom has made a whole bunch of stuff when she was inspired. Okay. I'm going to fast forward because I need mom to wake up and make money. Maybe if she gets psyched, confident, before she writes, then that might help. Okay, so I need to write another non-fiction book. Write non-fiction. Come, you can do this, woman. Just wake up. Let's get this done. We need the money. Let this be the one. Let this be the one now, please. Maybe she's on the wrong level. Maybe I need to level up before it actually is any worth anything. Just don't lose your confidence, woman. Wit. Wit. Oh no, she's not confident anymore. But let's hope this book is now better. She started it with some confidence. Okay, did the book finish? Did she actually finish the book? She can now write fantasy. I just want to make sure this time, th does she need to edit the book? No. Okay, so I first need to send it to her client for approval. Oh, what was that? Approved! Thank you! Yes! 2,110 simoleons. Exemplary. It's almost like writing for Nitwi. Non-scientific individuals is your calling. I must say, translating the absence of privileged reference frames and general relativity into something palatable for a five-year-old must be some sort of Kabbalistic gift. Next time I'm in need of a writer, I'll be sure to reach out. Oh, I've included something extra for your marvelous work. We even got a bonus. What? An awesome way to end the day, guys. Things are... Things are starting to look up. It looks like it. We now have 2,000 simoleons. She's qualified in writing. I think the jobs she can do now are, are going to be worth much more simoleons. I think we are, we are A for away, guys. We are A for away. We are on our way to success. We have gotten over Steve. Hopefully his ghost is gone. No more monsters under the bed. No more tough times eating just cereal and dry bread. We can now get on with our lives. So this wraps up um, episode three of The Sims, The Bartleys. Sims for The Bartleys. Um, yeah, let's see you there. Brand new fantasy story, 2,325 simoleons. That's going to be it. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the next level. So things are definitely looking up. I'm excited for episode four, guys. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Please do leave me a comment. Goodbye.